Welcome back to the Black Parade, Mission 2, where old faces fade. And you know what, I mean, being out here would actually be a pretty good uh, screenshot. Now, can we get up to the guard's place from here? Well, it seems like the answer is no. I mean, I can't get in here, right? That was too narrow. I could have sworn that climbing up there would be a way... I guess not. I guess we need to get up here. You know, really supposed to be meddling light fixes? It's... Well, I know that despite the fact that they were never mantleable in... Originally in Thief. And new mantle made it easy. I do know Marble Man loves mantling uh, light fixtures. <sighs> Who's noising about then? Oh, he didn't notice me? Whoa, that was extremely lucky. Oh, this place is tiny. Cisco. I suppose that's the sewers. It's a different entry there. Bread and cheese and grapes down here by this load of shit. That doesn't seem right. Machine uh, has seen better days. Vibrating like mad. Huh? Another dead spider. Mansion. Lily, don't let his deviancy lead him to discover the wormwood holes in the masquerillion bookcase, or we're bound to rub every tapping piece of furniture in every tapping room with clothes oil. I don't want to see the new horrors he bought. This time he found an old torture device and he wants us to put it in the guest room to challenge the old saying, there are tarts in Shalebridge that pretend to be virgin. There's still dry blood on it. Where in the churches of Spire Pits does this creep find his treasures and where did he get the money to pay for them? I'm sure of it this time. That old crumbling manor is full of secret passages. Henry told me he found a few in the old part of the manor after noticing the mess had vanished only to reappear at the other end of the house. I wanted to know more naturally, so I decided to get him drunk. I had to have a really heavy hand with wine that time. He resists alcohol quite a lot. Sadly, I couldn't get much. He only said that it's better not to know more and that we'd better find work with another master at the slightest opportunity before collapsing like an old piece of rubbish. I don't know about you, but this makes me all the more curious. Do you think he has places where he watches us sleep? Or even better, a secret treasury? Come with us tonight for our chores. The mess will be out and Martine and I are going to take our sweet time looking for these infamous secret passengers. Lily. Okay, this must be the servants' quarters then.
right, we're in here. Looking out this way. Huh. So if we head south... Up the stairs there, then we'll get to this question mark. I guess we can get in... <coughs> right, I mean... So where did we come out from the sewer the first time then? What the fuck are you doing coming in here, man? Hello? Uh, uh. Well, there's one less guard then, I suppose. It's fine. Wait, it's upstairs to the white cellar? This doesn't make any sense. Well, I mean, the. This is the street and back garden. Now this is an indoor pool, what's... Fancy. Ah, oh, this must be the way to the back garden. Okay, and up there is where I came in from the, uh, Captain of the Guards place. Oh, are we leaving? Good, good, he's... He's calms down. This is gonna come in here, which would be, uh, inconvenient. Water crystals in here. Well, we can wash up all that smelly sewer filth anyway. Let's go into the rest of the house. So this this is that's the question mark. <sighs> Let's get going. Are they patrolling the wine cellar or what? <clears throat> Suppose so. Ah. This is the stairs to the kitchen. <coughs> So what is this door? It's locked. Who's that there? Identify yourself! Oh my god, come on. Nothing. Come out and fight me! <sighs> or is he really gonna run all the way over here? He is, isn't he? No? I think he's going to run up the stairs here. Well, can't seem to get access to the good wine here. Why is this all covered up? I'm waiting to hear what the guard's up to. safe down here. Still searching? Where's he even searching? 
Carly's got someone else searching now. He's riding someone else up. I thought they were supposed to be lazy guards. One of them's up there, I think. Oh, he's given up. That's the good news. He's just going to go back to patrolling down here, but at least if it's patrolling down here, I can, uh, you know, hopefully get by him. I don't have to worry about running into an angry guard. That's, well. I want to run into a surprise guard, that's fine. Angry, not so much. Seems to have gone a long way around. Get to where he thought he heard some footsteps. It's annoying me because he's taking a long time to come back. Wait, did he go down? He ran off this way. Someone behind me? Yeah, there he is, indeed. Where the hell did he... Stop jumping at nothing. Why did he run that way? <sighs> Didn't even realise the patrol here. Wait, Ben, I don't want to come and look at these dials that are in front of me. Go upstairs, man. Go upstairs. Right, so this is the machine room. Unless this guy was always patrolling the machine room, and I'm confused between which which guy was which, and there was someone else. I don't know. No, he doesn't seem to be going upstairs. Ah, here's where I came in from the sewers before. This is where we have had a conversation about uh, guiding my strings. Okay, it makes sense now. It's not looking. Are there any water crystals? He's looking down. <laughs> Don't see anything now. <coughs> Just a swirl. All right. So there's no reason for me to be down here. So let's not be down here. So, where did the guy who was patrolling this passage go? Or is it the same guy? I'm really confused. It's like the guard had vanished into thin air. But I just hear someone walking on some wood, which I thought was walking over this. Oh well, let's check the map. Okay, so... I could go up to the kitchen, or I can check out the rest of this basement. I mean, why not check out the rest of the basement, right? Yeah, we don't want lights on in this room. 
Where's this footsteps I'm hearing? Can I go? Hello. Some more arrows that I don't really have good use for since I'm not murdering anyone today. You don't seem to keep anything by your bed. There's definitely something on, up there. I don't know how we would get there without rope arrows. We do not have. That's the theatre, I suppose, that I'm hearing people practicing, warming up their throats. Is that a real sword? Such a drab stage. Am I supposed to waste my talent here? Yes. Clearly, this guy has too much free time and money on his hands. <laughs> Quietly on this noisy floor, la, la, la. just in case. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Rest there. But not to play cleaning up, but uh, la, 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 la. maybe we'll leave the la 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 and go to his. He does come looking over the theatre here, doesn't he? Is that allowed to go anywhere? No. Map time! Right, so there's some rooms here that we otherwise will not get access to, so I do have to go past La 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 Man. If I want to access them. Can't read those. come back because uh, well I need to get beyond him and I don't know where he is or which way he's facing so he can read those but I'm not allowed to that's not fair. I know you and your merry friends are in dire need of money, but I assure you the place this guy gives us are frankly creepy, and the man himself is a nasty piece of work. Well, first off, that little theatre is rather drab, but there is some sort of very peculiar thing going with it. Not the good kind of peculiar, mind you, but it adds to the overall dreadfulness of the whole thing. The last play he asked us to perform was some kind of twisted tale of a spirit or some such eating his young and taking utter delight in bloodthirsty acts 
with no repercussions whatsoever. In fact, it was written as if that were a good thing. And to add insult to injury, all of the female characters in this, who were supposed to be dryads or some nonsense like that, were in the nude. Can you believe this? In all my life I had never come across such blasphemous obscenity. We of the arts are open-minded, but this went too far. I, as our troops leader, vehemently protested and told him there was no way Helen and Beatrice would appear without any clothes on, dryads or not, even for a private play with him as the only spectator. He finally caved in, but I saw his glare for an instant. It chilled me to the bone, and it clouded my mind during that whole sinister play. We are packing our things and won't play there in the future, and believe me when I say you should stay away from Halliford and his house. Emilia. Twelve tricky tappers, we took their tea at two today. Twelve ticky tackers. That's impossible. Didn't know where he might dip his head in here or not. Salty sailors, Oh goodness me. Well, back gate. Access is open. the theatre itself. No. That's that's the uh, yeah the audience. <laughs> that's where he sits to watch these <laughs> disgusting plays. Why did that wardrobe suddenly light up? There's a light going on and off I guess. Tales of the Red Monsoon, from a lost play recovered and adapted by Messer Halliford. Act 1, Voices from the Leaves. The Wood Nymphs, Vine and Leaf, The Lost Knight, Harold Leff. Forest at Night. The two nymphs are da dancing naked around a dead lamb. Its corpse is mutilated and its innards are exposed. Vine and Leaf. Praise the woodly lord for his eyes seize, trunk of blood and puss for bees. Swallow, eat, lick and bite, grow the moss to complete our right. Harold enters the scene. Hiding behind a copse, he watches the witches of the wood dance while clutching the beast's viscera in their bare hands. They coat their, bre they coat their breasts with blood. Vine and Leaf. Bring us food, bring us wool, reject the brick of the man fool. We all return to the past, he honey maker comes at last. Harold steps out of the brush and throws his sword on the underwood. Shaken by the beauty of their incantation, he enters the red circle and bites into the lamb's flesh. The magnificent ladies of the forest welcome him and tear off his clothes. Harold, I have rejected the builder for your eyes. Bring me further, tell me your price. Leaf, let us walk together, show you truth from the lies. Give your hand, I feel your blood would suffice. The three characters take, take each other's hands and laugh while moss begins growing on the lamb's remains. La, 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 la. Okay, I don't know how they plan to do the special effects of the moss <laughs> suddenly growing on the lamb, but... Uh... Seven sailors sweetly sang some sad sea songs. Seven sadly swimming. Right, there's some uh, prop stories here. I guess I could have. <sighs> I don't know how we would have got hacked down here without the guy on stage seeing me, but maybe he wouldn't have cared. Maybe he would have just thought, hello, an audience. Alright, where are we? Theatre. Do we want to go up the stairs to the foyer? Or would I rather come up through the kitchen? Well, there's a couple of other rooms down here I suppose I should check out. the ladder in a minute. Oh, another 
climb up a lot right now, so I think... Oh, well, it doesn't actually kill anyway. <sighs> yeah, and I was like... Listen to his disgust at having to climb into yet another future pits of... Poop. is possible. I guess we should take a look. It might be fine. It might not be heavily guarded. Or it might be thick with bugs. It's at least one. It does give us ready access to the next floor if we want it. Safest way to the next floor. Oh, these spiral stairs keep going up as well, so that's far easier than the main staircase. Far easier. Where's this guard like to hang out? Also, is there anything there valuable? I can't really see. Definitely some valuables there. Okay, uh, that's about to be locked, yes. It's unlocked now. And this is... takes me to the kitchen, which I have not explored. It's a good book, though. I hear that one's in high demand throughout the city. I can't believe it! One of these fat good-for-nothing spilled beer all over the floor in the upstairs sitting room. The sir will be furious if he sees it. The sir should pay his guards better if he wants them to behave professionally. Hush! What if someone hears you? Do you want to have your pay withdrawn for another month? I, for one, think it's about time we had a raise for our hard work. The sir can certainly buy his awful exotic items and offensive paintings without any financial issues. Surely he can throw a penny or two our way. Well, that would certainly be nice. Bring me some water, would you? I have to clean this. <laughs> oh, that's where you would get the water, that's right. It's a little what can I close that from here? There's a noise isolation. I say explore here. Hello, my more food that I can't take. How terrible. Fire arrow I can take, that's interesting. I wonder what use I might have for that. And then this goes down to where we were before, right? Just another one. Mind teller. My guard is back down to me, it must be the same one.
That's more like it. Real food. Mmm, tasty. I was gonna. Oh, hello, we could get up from here too. So going up from here will get us to the lounge? Surely not. Seems to suggest a bit strange. Oh, yes, this is this is uh, servants sleeping, presumably. Where is this? This is not the lounge at all. We seem to be off the map. Not necessarily a bad thing. Ah. <sighs> oh, awkward ladder. We're heading south now. We must be out of the mansion proper, right? There's a balcony. Right, so this is overlooking where we where we came in before. But I don't don't think I could have used this as a way to get into the um, mansion because there doesn't seem to be a way to go from here to go up from here to get up here, except from where that I just came. I mean, I guess I can use it as a shortcut to the upper floor. I'm not quite ready for. Ah! Angled ladders. Uh. Of course, we don't know the best way to the upper floors. Proper, right? <laughs> Very funny sleeping pose. Does he have any valuables there? Can't see any sign of any. I guess we just leave him to his snoozes. Alright, I want to be thorough in this place. I want to go room by room, floor by floor. So I'm going to head back down now. She's still unaware of anyone around. Okay, back to the kitchen and... Yeah, let's see if we can get around all this part. Although, I guess... Going through the back garden, it'll be the quickest way to get there, right? Might be easier than heading through the foyer proper, because the guard is patrolling it. I'm going to try it a long way. Right, yeah, just across here. And then out that way was the bridge and the theatre and stuff. And this, yes, this way it goes to the back garden. We have to look out for the captain wandering around out here. But we should have another door to the interior. <clears throat> I 
I assume he's going up that way. And it's a noisy floor there. Oh no, of course he's going up that way. Right, this is where we came in before. Map time, map, map, map. Wait, is this the latrines? Oh, it is. Right, I've been here. Oh, those are good. Ah, uh, that's not water. Where's my water arrows? 13. Quite a lot of water arrows. Let's hope he doesn't need to go to the toilet. Okay, then, in that case... I guess I want to check out this room to the south, and then we head through the dining room. This guy has lots of plants in his house, it's very cool. Lots and lots of curtains too, which are not so cool, because... I don't know if they will actually block any kind of... vision <sighs> or not... from the guards. All depends on how they set up. They could, they could not. You won't see me here either way. There's a guard there. Hello? Oh, this is odd. Never seen a dining room with a basement of its own before. Hello? Right, get in. There we go. Your instruments here. Thanks for a really awkward uh, mantle there, Hugh. Where are we? So we, we came south from the dining room? Sounds like a super passage opening. Mm. Okay, we're in a north south passage. There's a gate there, there's a guard there. Are we here? I guess we might be here. That would make sense. Dining room that way. Yeah, we just came through from here to here, so we do that to mark the passage. <coughs> so south is... would be the foyer. <coughs> What's he doing there? <coughs> Resting his arms, I suppose. <coughs> <coughs> to investigate. That's not ideal for me. I don't have any money. I don't... You have a loud voice though, that's a problem. 
Just, just sleep. <sighs> You would just left well alone, you would not be waking up with a headache. <laughs> right, that's the bar. And this is north. I keep getting turned around, completely turned around here. Right, so we're here. <coughs> nice little fountain. My guard friend seems to have some kind of lurgy there. Oh, that's what I heard opening, I think. Lots of fruit. It doesn't open. Hello, that entire bookshelf lights up. That's not suspicious in the slightest. One of the wine cellar I haven't been to? No, because I would have hit that I mean, it could be, but I would have hit that switch. Surely that's not it. It must be just a secret stash of wine and bottles. Is that the entire thing that's going on here? Yeah, I'm suspicious. Hello? Yeah, I knew there had to be more going on. It's nicely hidden. Aha. Uh -huh. What we got going on here is a plant. Is this the famed Biddly Bomb? I am not drinking that. Oh, that's valuable. I guess he does keep his special uh, wine. It is just for storing special wines. Right, and that's just opening and closing this. Alright. Close up behind us. That's like one se secret behind a secret behind a secret. up all the rest of that latrine smell. I can't get up that way, so it's not going to help me. Do I want to knock this guy out and let him go? Where am I, where am I going to go? South to the foyer? Maybe... Seems dangerous. I mean, he walks that way, right? And then we've been in there. There's nothing new to loot, I don't think. We should be going upstairs instead. Hmm. Hello? Anyone there? Did we go through that room here? Yeah, we went went through those rooms. Okay. I don't think there's anything new to be looted in there. Maybe potentially maybe a moss arrow or something in plants, but I think we can do without that. I think we can go back to the dining room now. Uh, 
<sighs> okay, so we're back towards the back garden then. Uh, where do I want to go? I mean, the foyer was a quick way upstairs, I suppose. I'm looking at going all the way back around to the wine cellar and kitchen and everything, I suppose. <sighs> Do I have a better idea, a better plan? I mean, I guess I could have got through here. Well, let's just let's just do it the short way. Of course, now it's going to be more waiting. No, because he goes off to his tower. Huh? And dining room is pretty easy to navigate through. Thanks to the little drafty hole here. Where was it? <sighs> there. Stairs. All right, all right. That was not too thorny. Oh, that's a really nice uh, roof of the stairway there. Random stack of books. Okay. Second floor. We've got a bedroom. We've got maybe a sitting room or something. Bunch of places, to, bunch of places to, uh, to explore. Hopefully, fewer guards on this floor. Somebody's asleep. Just gonna turn the lights on. Sleep and not snoring. A lot of cobwebs in this place. Not even like breathing, this should be a sleeping, it's just like nice, nice calm breathing instead of snoring. So he came out of here. Right. No self guards come into this place. Nice pillars. So this is the sitting room question mark. Reading room. Oh, we could get up higher perhaps. And there's a balcony of looking for you. Okay. Another fine example for the chimney connoisseur. Is that an actual light in that painting or is it just looking like it from here? That's actually flickering, isn't it? Or is it the room light is flickering? Look at those scandalous paintings he's got. Oh. Oh, 
stops with my other paintings and get a sword. Introduction to a guard sword. Mm, warm yourself by the fire. Don't even notice that it's gone out. Nice helmets this, these guys have got there. And that's just a pot of plants. Uh, maybe there's nothing special about that painting. However, <sighs> that looks valuable. <sighs> Nobody here. You imagined it all. Can I get across here? <sighs> I could get to the upper floor this way, I think. <sighs> Certainly can. Do I wish to? Not yet. <sighs> this is the gallery. I've not been through the gallery. Nice paintings. The other balcony overlooking the way. Okay, so this isn't getting me anywhere useful. Although, I do see a ledge there. Oh no, it's the back of the gallery. I haven't been through the gallery proper. Okay, so there's maybe a way from here. I guess this is the gallery? Maybe my map is just confusing me. No, this is this door I'm just going to ignore this one. Right, this is the gallery. That guard is probably going to be coming through right quick, so... More fancy paintings. Lexi Skulls. He was complaining about the guard to the guard about having to bring the guard food. He does go through the gallery indeed. I was not actually did not actually think he did. Well that's the lounge looks busy. And the path to the upper floors looks guarded. Well the guards moved. Hmm. Well that's a ceiling. Almost Constantine-ish. <sighs> Come on. Really, you're going to build it like that so I can't... Uh, now I can't go through it. Okay. 
pretty awkward. Secret passage though, interesting. A mechanical machinery is out, it's going lower, not higher. It's maybe not helpful to me. Oh, we're outside. This is not his manner anymore. Whose place is this? Well, we don't care. It's got uh, money for us. The excellent Gazette fires at wayside manufacturers. An honest tannery caught fire yesterday. Anonymous sources confirm the origins of these fires are without doubt of vicious nature. This humble newspaper wishes to express its fears with regards to the recent arrival of foreigners from Cyric. Stay vigilant. Praise be Inquisitor Mosgus. Glory to the Inquisitor General Mosgus for all the hard work he and his disciples undertake. No less than three pagans have been freed from the trickster's blasphemous influence. The excellent Gazette wishes to express its sincere admiration for our noble Inquisitor. Your next heretics. Down with the Ambergreen tax. The wretched gold liquors from the mercantile guild have struck again. On the first steam's day of Pampinosis, the Ambergreen shall cost three silvers. How are the honest citizens of the city supposed to feed their families? Is there a limit to their greed? Down with the Ambergreen tax. Carapok, you can't be serious. Do you really read the excellent Gazette now? Of all the newspapers I have read, that one is surely the most erratic of them all. It's a vile mixture of polar opposites, patriotic and anti-authoritarian reporting at the same time. The news are so confusing and the newspaper's opinions change so much that I doubt the writers themselves are sane to begin with. You could be in trouble as well, but that rag is considered illegal now. Some riots broke out at the Dayport Traders Bank last week because this piece of rubbish reported that the owner had replaced all the money with fake coins to crash the city's economy. Of course, all of that was an obvious fabrication, but you know how people are. Somehow I doubt this will be the last case of mass hysteria caused by it. The Baron's police are now trying to find the people responsible and where that garbage comes from. But it's a lost cause if you ask me. The paper is distributed in the strangest ways. Glued to nobles barouches, hidden in pies, or distributed by mute beggars. Burrick cake. I even saw one attached to a dog's tail once. Burrick cake. That's an excellent expletive. Burrick cake is not something you want to... Uh, find in places you don't expect it. Come on, come on, don't, thank you. Don't fall as I was trying to express that. Where is this? South of the mansion. Oh, just right above the front gate, right. I didn't, I didn't explore, I didn't see this little garden here. That's very neat, paving stones. Very cool. Right, that's that's the way down to the sewers. Yeah, we walked on that pipe. Okay, so this isn't going to get me anywhere else. It's just uh, I wanted to get to the clock. All right. Nice diversion then, but uh. A little bit of value, but not strange. I'm mean, gonna I guess it's here, not as a secret passage, but as a as ventilation. Honest ventilation, which just happens to. Oh, hello. Speaking of valuables. Moss on top of the bookcase. Where am I trying to go? Where am I? This is down in the lounge, right? So I guess I want to get to the upper floors, which we can do from this balcony. Or the kitchen. There's a guard that comes down this way, and I'm not quite sure where their positions are at at the moment. Sit and wait and watch for a moment. Oh, you know what? 
No, I can uh, end the episode here and we can sit and wait and watch for a minute next episode. So, uh, thanks for watching and see you here soon for another exciting episode of Sitting in the Dark Watching People Patrol Past.